subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button people have to live in in unity we are still in transition civil society has been decimated of course we rely on media and i think the government has not done enough the international community has failed to respond no place in the world is perfect the yoga event is held here severe injustice and they should be stopped we should raise our voices condemn this uh, brutal act Hello you us I'm your host Uzma Jafri with another episode of South Asia Focus. Let's begin the show with India's growing assertiveness in its northern union territory of Ladakh to counter Chinese belligerents along the line of actual control. India has intensified its infrastructure development at high altitudes. Beijing has cried foul but New Delhi says it has sovereign authority and rights to protect its land and people and will continue construction on its site. Various media reports in the past have confirmed that China has already built a network of roads and bridges on its site. So why is China protesting? Is it coming out of its compulsive habit of interfering in others domestic affairs or has it grown jittery with India's befitting responses to its each single tactic? These employees of Border Road Organization, the infrastructure development wing of Indian Defence, are working overtime to accomplish their goals. Their aim is to develop a road through mountains that provides smooth connectivity and an all-year access to Indian troops moving forward areas along LAC. The border between India and China, where the situation has lately become volatile due to repeated incursion attempts by PLA. The sustained provocation from Chinese side had grown into a primitive style bloody fist fight this summer in which India had lost 20 of its soldiers while China had not disclosed its casualties reports say they were near 40 Since then New Delhi has redoubled its efforts on securing its entire boundary with China and has been building roads and bridges. Engineers at the ground say that China's unethical war tactics have compelled his team to work with more enthusiasm. Here with the with the terrain conditions and difficulties we are facing here with the minus 42 40 degrees Celsius despite of that the morale of the troop is very high and we are doing the uh, work for the nation and we are doing the work on the war footing so that it road can be linked to the ladakh as a third axis so we are now fall short of the 30 kilometers of link is missing and we are working on war footing to link that missing link The government of India has identified 73 strategically important roads along the Chinese border of which 61 are with the BRO running over 3300 kilometers. 75% of the work under BRO had been completed by March this year. A news that has really made the power corridors in Beijing nervous. Beijing tried using similar tactics but it has time and again employed to bully its smaller and weaker neighbors in south it termed indian construction illegal and destabilizing new delhi however remains unfazed and says it will build infrastructure at even greater speed to respond to chinese plots Indian defense minister had recently said that India will continue to patrol areas. Main yeh spash kar dena chahta hu. Ladai bhi to ishi liye ho rahi hai. Face off to ishi liye hota hai. Aur yahan tak patrolling pattern ka sawal hai Sabhapati Mahoday. Yah patrolling pattern ek traditional hai, paramparik hai aur sath hi sath yeh well defined hai. Bharat ke sena ke jawanon ko 
पेट्रोलिंग करने से दुनिया की कोई ताकत नहीं रोक सकती यदि हमारे हमारे जवानों ने अपना बलिदान दिया है तो इसीलिए बलिदान दिया है देश हित में हमें कितना ही बड़ा और कितना ही कड़ा कदम उठाना पड़े सभापति महोदय हम पीछे नहीं हटेंगे सो वॉट हैज बुक चाइना Observers say it is India's combat readiness which will be bolstered several times with connectivity to forward areas that has baffled Chinese leadership and its PLA. While China can boast of having one of the mightiest arsenals in the world, its soldiers are not just skilled enough for high altitude warfare with sub-zero temperatures. while indian troops on the other side can do it all beijing has also been taken by surprise by india's assertive and more skilled response to its bullism it had drawn its conclusions on the basis of its little success in 1962 but today india which is also a nuclear power has one of the strongest armies under the sun It has highly sophisticated arsenal with its troops capable of giving a bloody nose to its enemies. In this case, the Chinese. From land to air to sea, India is prepared for all levels of conflict that China must just think of triggering or to say in the current context, will think twice before doing anything of that sort. Moving on. The Indian president approved three agricultural bills recently with a aim to empower country's farmers to sell their produce directly to institutional buyers such as big traders and retailers. The new Farmers Bill 2020 is believed to help liberalize the sector by eliminating the middlemen, facilitating better realizations for farmers, attracting investment and enhancing the technology. We have a report. Agriculture employs 58% of India's population and contributes to 15% of GDP. It is called the backbone of country's economy. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's cabinet had issued emergency executive orders in June to change the long-standing rules that govern the vast agricultural sector. The Farmers Bill 2020 will unshackle farmers from having to sell their produce only at regulated wholesale markets and make contract farming easier. अब यही ताकत देश के दूसरे किसानों को भी मिली है। फल सब्जियों के लिए ही नहीं, अपने खेत में वो जो पैदा कर रहे हैं, धान, गेहूं, सरसों, गन्ना जो उगा रहे हैं उसको अपनी इच्छा के अनुसार जहां ज्यादा दाम मिले वहीं पर बेचने की अब उनको आजादी मिल गई है द न्यू लेजिस्लेशन विल गिव पावर टू द फार्मर्स फॉर एंगेजिंग विद प्रोसेसर्स होल सेलर्स एग्रीगेटर्स लार्ज रिटेलर्स एक्सपोर्टर्स एंड अदर्स इन अ वेरी कॉम्पिटेटिव एनवायरमेंट Price assurance will be given to the farmers even before the sowing of crops. In the case of higher market prices, farmers will be entitled to this profitable price much above the minimum price. According to the government, it will shift the risk of market unpredictability from the farmer to the financially powerful sponsor. Due to prior price determination, farmers will be shielded from the volatility of market prices it will give access to the farmer to adopt modern technology better seed and other inputs india's small farmers comprise 78% of all farmers but own only 33% of the total cultivated land and produce 41% of the country's food grains their productivity is somewhat higher than that of medium and large size farms 
इससे हमें एक तरीके का फायदा ही है क्योंकि इसमें से अगर बीच में से ये जो कमीशन वाले हैं वो निकल जाते हैं तो फायदा सीधा खेडूत को ही है इससे हमारा मुनाफा भी बढ़ जाएगा और आने वाली पीढ़ी में भी इससे फायदा बहुत ज्यादा होगा तो माल कमत है हम है लेकिन बेचना आता नहीं सबसे पहली बात है इसे जबकि व्यापारी लोगों का क्या कहना है तीन सौ रुपये किलो कैरेट लिए तो मेरे को क्या क्या भाव पड़ता है बारह रुपये किलो से लेकर पंद्रह रुपये किलो तक तो टमाटर गिरता था पहले आज हम लोग है हमारा सौ सौ कैरेट चालू है अभी तो हम खुद भी बेच सकते हैं जैसे वाशी बोलो अहमदाबाद बोलो गुजरात बोलो तो हमको पड़ता है बीस रुपये किलो तो पच्चीस रुपये किलो तक किसानों के लिए बिल बहुत अच्छा पास हुआ है कोई परेशानी नहीं हुई किसानों के लिए मंडी में ले जाने जाने के लिए और दलाली कम होगी कालाबाजारी कम होगी कहीं भी ले आ सकते कहीं भी किसान बेच सकता है अपने माल को विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द असेंशियल कमोडिटीज ऑर्डिनेंस 2020, द गवर्नमेंट मे रेगुलेट द प्रोडक्शन सप्लाई डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ट्रेड एंड कॉमर्स ऑफ असेंशियल कमोडिटीज सच एज फूड इंक्लूडिंग सीरियल्स पल्सेस पोटैटोज अनियंस एंड ऑयल सीड्स Farmers may also use electronic trading platforms like Enam which was launched in April 2016. It had 16.6 million farmers and 1,31,000 traders registered on its platform until May 2020. Overall 1,000 mandis or markets in India are already linked to Enam. and 22000 additional wholesale markets are projected to be linked by 2022 agricultural commodities trading accounts for 12% of total commodities trading in india let's move to pakistan where the government headed by prime minister imran khan is targeting the opposition party leaders on charges of corruption However the opposition parties and civil rights groups in the Islamic Republic have long held that the anti graft agency is used by the military for selected accountability saying it does not touch powerful generals or khans ministers Pakistan's anti graft agency arrested the parliamentary leader of the opposition on corruption charges on September 28 after a court rejected a plea for bail a move his party says is linked to planned opposition protests against prime minister Imran Khan Shehbaz Sharif a former chief minister of punjab province and younger brother of former prime minister nawaz sharif was arrested outside the lahore court the charges are linked to alleged money laundering to buy properties abroad the arrest was allegedly a reaction to the opposition's threat of nationwide protests calling for khan to step down Sharif is one of several opposition leaders facing corruption charges and arrested by the anti-graft body often before a formal case is registered. His party accused the anti-graft agency which is used by the military for selective accountability. Agar is mulk mein Pakistan mein please agar koi कानून है कोई इंसाफ है या कोई सेम्बलेंस ऑफ कानून या इंसाफ है तो फिर गिरफ्तारी शहबाज शरीफ की नहीं होनी चाहिए थी फिर गिरफ्तारी जनरल आसिम सलीम बाजवा की होनी चाहिए थी क्योंकि शहबाज शरीफ के नाम ये 99 कंपनीज नहीं निकली शहबाज शरीफ के ना, आ, नाम वो सैकड़ों फ्रेंचाइज नहीं निकले शहबाज शरीफ का ताल्लुक एक कारोबारी घराने से था जो कि 1930 से कारोबार कर रहा है शबाज शरीफ के वालिद साहब एक जाने माने बिजनेसमैन थे नाइन मेजर ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज रिसेंटली डिनाउंस द मिलिट्री फॉर मेडलिंग इन पॉलिटिक्स एंड रिगिंग द 2018 इलेक्शंस टू ब्रिंग खान टू पावर The military which has ruled for half of Pakistan's history since its independence from Britain in 1947 denies interfering in politics or election wrongdoing. 
retired general Asim Bajwa who oversees the dollar 65 billion China Pakistan economic corridor and is also an advisor to PM Khan was recently embroiled in controversy following a news report that alleged he had amassed assets worth millions of dollars beyond his means Nawaz Sharif who is in London says he's surprised about the arrest of his brother Shehbaz Sharif expect to mukhal qaum ye kar rahi thi ke Asim Bajwa ko pakda jayega aur jo hai wo unse hisab liya jayega unse pucha jayega kis tarah se ek shakhs ne naukri ke dauran पिछले पंद्रह बीस सालों में इतनी बड़ी जायदादें और एसेट्स बना लिए तो वक्त तो तो कौन को ये थी कि पकड़ा तो उसने जाना था पकड़ उन्होंने शबाज शरीफ को लिया है political turmoil in pakistan is growing after nawaz sharif the leader of pakistan muslim league nawaz declared military interference as the root of political instability economic decline and diplomatic isolation for the muslim country of 220 million people the pakistan democratic movement all alliance of almost all major opposition parties has announced that it would kick off a nationwide protest campaign on october 11 against prime minister imran khan moving on during the taliban regime in afghanistan the women activities were suppressed Despite the radical Islamic flow which still prevails in the war-torn nation, Afghan women are managing to recreate their lives and their identities for a better future. Let's meet a young female Afghan expeditor who is planning her next summit to show the world and set an environment of optimism for others who are conceiving high aspirations like hers. Let's have a look. Eighteen-year-old Afghan expeditor Fatima Sultani gazes at the peak of a mountain near Afghanistan's capital city Kabul. After completing a morning climbing session, considering her next footsteps, she and her team of nine young Afghan mountaineers, three of them women, are hoping to climb Afghanistan's Mir Samir mountain, and after that. travel to nepal to summit the world's highest peak mount everest sultani has continued to climb throughout the covid-19 outbreak in august making it to the summit of the 7492 meters altitude noshak peak which is one of the hardest climbs in the world in the hind kush mountain range in northern province of afghanistan هدف اصلی ما امی است که ما به تمام جهانیان نشان بدیم که بانوان افغانستان هم قدرتمند هستند میتونن کارهای سختی را که مثلا مردم ما انجام بدن ما میتونیم انجام بدیم و بالخصوص ما وقتی که خبر میشدیم که از کشورهای خارج مثلا میان در افغانستان قله های مرتفع افغانستان اینا فتح میکنن بانوانشان ما واقعا به این فکر رسیدیم چرا وقتی که قله افغانستان داخل کشور خود ما است ما خود ما نمیتونیم ما بانوان نمیتونیم که بریم فتح کنیم از خارج میان فتح میکنن به خاطر انگیزه ما امی که ما امروی تیم های پنجار یک جای شدم و خواستم که می قله های بلند کسه فتح کنم و به هدف های خود برسم However when she is not training in the mountains Fatima lives in Kabul with her parents and younger sister Her father said he will continue to rejoice Fatima's achievement but as a parent has lingering concerns about her safety بله به خاطر از این که مثلا نه نه ما با شاید از این صحنه هستیم که مثلا کسایی که مثلا زیادتر می رخمی مثلا معروف شده یا مثلا بعضی خدمت های کرد تا از تاریخ طالبا مثلا تحت ترور قرار گرفته ترجیح این واقعا جای نگرانی من نگران هستم در از این بار صد فیصد مثلا اونا نمگذاره تا حد در که مثلا نادوارزیش بره مثلا خصوصا در طبقه اوناست که اونا هیچ نمگذاره قدم خود از خانه بیرون بیرون Even she hopes to motivate women of her generation to take part and show the world another facade of Afghanistan for much brighter to improve peace and sustainability. 
خب ما تقریبا سه یا چهار قلار ما فتح کردیم امروی امین تیمی که یک جای شدیم یکی لالان بوده پنچیر و یکی هم ده سالنگ بوده سلسل گوه های هندوکوش که به نام خودم او قلار ماندن فاتی پیک و یکی هم قوریغ بود و آخرینش هم نوشاخ بود که سخترین کو ما گفته میتونیم که در جهان گفته میشه و بلندترین امی قلار کو در افغانستان هستن که ما اونجا امروی تیمی های پرمیچر رفتیم و اونجا را فتح کردیم و بلندیش 7492 متر As the Taliban hold peace talks with the Afghan government in Doha, many fear that they may rein in women's activities, including in sport, as they did during their rule. Though the Taliban say they have changed, their public statement on women's rights have been vague and many harbor concerns. However, the situation improved significantly in the last two decades due to the infusion of billions of dollars in international support and remittance from Afghan emigrants. Dolls from various periods of history offer an understanding of the times gone by. They are part of a tradition Indians have grown up with. Today, the dolls not only provide a diversion but also a colorful canvas for depicting Indian life in its plethora of cultural beauties. So today in our episode, we will take you to India's Coimbatore city, where a month-long Navratri Kolu exhibition or doll festival kicked off. Over 10,000 varieties of dolls were displayed by artisans at the exhibition that attracted many visitors. Made of matchsticks and clay, the lifelike dolls attract visitors in the doll exhibition which recently began in India's southern city of Coimbatore. Popularly known as the Kolu Doll Festival, the exhibition is an annual event before the festival of Navratri. In the exhibition, dolls were put on display which depicts deities like Krishna and Ganesha playing contemporary games and various episodes from the life of Lord Krishna. Visitors also got to see the dolls of Ramayana, models of temples, Lord Sai idols and much more. Every year, thousands of artisans participate in the exhibition, but this year, due to coronavirus pandemic, it is exhibited as a low-key affair. Every year we conduct Pumbar conducts a Kolu exhibition for 30 days. This year we are conducting for uh, 45 days. What is the reason? Means this year uh, due to the COVID problem, uh, Pumbar doesn't have a good, good customer footfalls. So this year we have given a medical campaign, and also we have exhibited uh, more artisan products here. Uh, actually, while compared to the last year, this year the artisans' uh, flows are very less. Uh, last year there was nearly 20 artisans. This year there were only 15 artisans who have participated in the exhibition. This year in the this year in Kolu, we have paper mache dolls and we have uh, uh, matchstick based toys and uh, eti kup toys, varanasi toys and uh, other uh, other crafts and we have mixed here with uh, uh, models. There are certain types of models here. This like this year we have highlighted the Ramar Koil temple is the uh, highlighted temple model in this year and this year uh, we were expecting sales up to 50 lakhs. But uh, due, to the, uh, due to the customer footfall, very less of customer footfall, we were not able to do the sales. The art, our main aim is to uplift the poor artisan. During the exhibition, over 10,000 varieties of dolls have been displayed by artisans. The exhibition aimed to empower the craftsmen and enhance their livelihood. Visitors with religious inclinations spend the most time admiring figurines of famous characters from Hindu epic Ramayana and Mahabharata also. Besides mythological characters and deities, visitors also got to see an array of doll sets portraying slices of life. Besides this, the vegetables and fruits made of clay look astonishingly realistic. Uh, 
வருஷம் வருஷம் இங்கே வருவோம் கொழுவுக்கு திங்க்ஸ் ஆமா வாங்க வருவோம் பூம்புகார் ஐட்டம்ஸ் எப்போவுமே நல்லாயிருக்கும் பார்க்குறக்கு எங்களுக்கு ரொம்ப பிடிக்கும் இந்த தடவை வந்து நிறைய ஐட்டம்ஸ் வச்சுருக்காங்க கொழு ஐட்டம்லேயே தனித்தனியாக செட்டு செட்டாக நிறைய வச்சுருந்தாங்க வெளியே இப்போ உள்ளே வந்திருக்கோம் உள்ளேயும் ஃபுல்லாக கலர்ஃபுல்லாக இருக்குது கோயில் செட்ஸு பழனி கோயில் திருவண்ணாமலை கோயில் கூடவே இந்த தடவை அதிகமாக ராமர் கோயில் செட்டு வச்சுருக்காங்க பார்க்குறக்கு ரொம்ப நல்லாயிருக்கு வேறு திங்ஸ் இருக்குது கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் வாங்கிட்டுருக்கோம் பார்த்துட்ருக்கோம் நல்லாயிருக்கு பாக்ஸில் குழந்தைங்க ஐ சாமான் இருக்குது சின்ன குழந்தையிலேருந்து பெரிய குழந்தைங்க வரைக்கும் விளையாடுறக்கு மர சாமான் எல்லாம் இருக்குது கொழு சம்மந்தமானது தசாவதாரம் செலை வச்சுருக்காங்க மீனாட்சி கல்யாணம் வச்சுருக்காங்க அப்புறம் எல்லாமே எப்படி சொல்கிற தனித்தனி செட்டு முந்திலாம் ஒவ்வொன்றா தேடுவோம் மற்ற பக்கமெலாம் போனால் ஒரு செட்டு வைக்கணுன்னா மீனாட்சி கல்யாணம்னா தனித்தனியாக தேடுவோம் இப்போ எல்லாமே இருக்குது அத்தி வரதர் இருக்குது ஸ்ரீரங்கநாதர் இருக்கார் எல்லாமே இருக்குது வேணுங்கிறத அப்படியே நம்ம எடுத்துகிட்டு போய்க்கிற மாதிரி இருக்குது பூம்புகாரில் எப்போவும் இருக்க மாதிரி இருக்குது முந்தி எப்படின்னா அந்த கொல்லு டைமில் நிறைய கூட்டம் வரும் இப்போ கோவிட்ங்கிறதுனால எல்லாம் கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் வெயிட் பண்ணி வெயிட் பண்ணி வராங்க போல் எனக்கு தோணுது கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சம் பேராக வர்றாங்க அப்படின்னு ஆ இங்கே சானிடைசர் கொடுக்குறாங்க உள்ளே என்ட்ரு ஆகும்போது மாஸ்க் போட்டிருந்தேன் இப்போ பேச பேசணுங்கிறக்காக தான் மாஸ்கை கழட்டிட்டேன் த்ரூ த எக்ஸிபிஷன் த ஆர்டிசன்ஸ் ஹூ ப்ளூ லைஃப் இன் டு கிளே காட் அ பிரில்லியன் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டி டு போர்ட்ரே தியர் டேலண்ட் அண்ட் மார்க்கெட் த ப்ரொடக்ட்ஸ் Kolu Doll Exhibition has carved a unique niche of its own in country's annual carnival calendar and is playing a great role for preserving the traditional art. So with that we come to the end of this week's episode. See you next week. Goodbye and take care.